Muriel, Muriel Beckett. I describe myself mainly as a weaver. I make tapestries and wall hangings from my studio in Greystones in County Wicklow. I ended up in Finland in a textile college in Finland for a year and studied really all the technical things and then was surrounded by the Scandinavian design and all the things they saw in the shops, beautiful glass and wood and interesting architecture and so I kind of absorbed all of that as well. After I came back from my studies in Finland I taught at third level in the art college in Dunleary. You know I'd be very keen in this part of my life to encourage younger people to get involved. I think it's really important for people to continue to, to have manual skills and creative skills and use our imagination, make beautiful things. I think that has a huge value in itself. I suppose living here now in this house, in this lovely garden, even subconsciously you're absorbing. I am absorbing all those colours and, you know, the patterns in the sea. And I don't paint or draw outside. I take pictures and then I bring them back here and then I work from the photographs. Just sometimes uh, chop them up, expand them, photocopy, um, and then sit with the yarns and try and find the colors that, that are most closely linked to the colors that I, I'm, I'm looking at in the photo or that I've seen. And then you're trying to get a mood and then I'd be trying to think, well now what, what weave will I use for that to get that kind of a texture or that feeling? Then you're just going off on a tangent and you just get absorbed in blending the colours themselves and twisting. You know, might use um, three or four strands of yarn together and so you're mixing them and mingling them so you're really getting into the weave and the pattern and the texture of what you're doing. Some people say oh it must be really tedious to kind of set up the loom but I don't find it tedious I just find no I need to do this correctly for the work to unfold correctly so I just get on with it. <laughs> you get into a rhythm when you're working and um, you're concentrating on what pedals you're using and you could be counting in your mind, uh, you know, you could be going one, two, two, three, three, four, you know, and you're going through the sequence and you're continually measuring, but you can also let your thoughts drift or be listening to the radio or, so it's just a very nice thing to do and the day can just fly by, you get very absorbed in it. When you're working with weaving, the, the, the weaving is disappearing under the loom. So you've got the section that, you can see the section you're working on, but it's disappearing. It's not that practical to try and unwind it and have a, a check of the whole thing. So when you, cut t when you cut it off the loom and you spread it out, you can be absolutely delighted, or you can say, oh, that color didn't work that well as I thought it would there. <laughs> so you're still learning this, still don't always get it right. <laughs> I really enjoy coming up here. This is like my, my little um, safe place, <laughs> my creative space. And uh, so I get, yeah, I still get lots of satisfaction from weaving and I'm still making new pieces and I suppose with, with lots of artistic people, they always think the next piece is going to be the best thing they ever made. <laughs>